Potato is too tired for your dirty. Whoa! Calm down, Potato. Oh, you get Twitch fan for that? It's a joke, kind of. Lost his super in voice chat, Fooey. Mama, mama, voice chat, dude. I don't know why people have such an insane thing for voice chat. I come from League and. You never use voice chat in League, it doesn't even exist. How do you think people get challenger in League? They don't have voice chat on. Voice chat doesn't exist. They flame each other in chat like a normal person. They're just mad because I have chat hidden and voice chat on, so they can't flame. They they can't ex they can't get their outer rage, man. When they come in here, then they they spit their rage out. Still, so. what is voice chat? I mean, seriously, it's a thing where other people can speak to each other over the microphone. Basically, that where seventy percent of the time it'll be views. For people to just yell at each other for whatever reasons they think they're right and other people will be like well I'm right well I'm right well I'm right well I'm right well you're wrong well I'm right it's just endless cycle pain really hard to use well, I'm plat but I get carried every game true true I mean I'm already plat so you're not wrong there Did I tap out? Ah, I tapped out. I gotta do this again. See you turn in, my friends. Yep. Honestly, I think this game would be better without voice chat if it were, like, League. Voice chat is productive, like, rarely. Throughout my, like, 2,000 hours with this game, voice chat, I've only ever had a couple of really good games with comms going on in voice. It's not a team, those paws are productive. Yeah, I had a couple of those. That's very, very rare, though. It helps to join voice when you got, like, a duo or a trio. Because then people can't really flame, because then they're flaming, like, the majority of their team instead of the minority. And it makes them less toxic because they're afraid to do that. Because they know they'll end up getting reported for abusive chat by actually being toxic to people. Oh my god. No! Ugh, they got a Junkrat again. I actually hate how many Junkrats there are. They have a level 2. I'm gonna die though. It's a big group to guard him. Yeah. I <laughs> just need the Guardians. The Guardians of the Fooey. Oh rip, they have Reaper. Ew, why do they have Reaper? Let's go, Piggy. I don't know where we're going right now. The percent over community size because they're trying to watch an esport and have time to deal with any real issues. Hey man. Esports make them money. Overwatch players already bought the game. There's no money to be made there. I mean technically they could just buy money with loot boxes, but that doesn't make sense, okay? It was a girl on the team, so I think people were being nice. Ah, I see. I Well, my games, I think, that were actually nice. They were, like, high top 500 games, so that's probably why. Like, it was, like, a high top 500 game against a bunch of low GMs, so... I think people tend to not be toxic when they have a guaranteed almost victory in there. Well, people get offended so much, like, chill. Just go look at, like, any of the other gaming communities. Like, COD community or whatever. Little Call of Duty Raging Man. You gotta kill him! Let's make a Latelier. Or not. Never mind. Ugh! No! That's not bad. Funny, because a lot of problems actually get solved with off-meta characters by just diving. <laughs> Dive solves like every problem you could ever have. Some player on your team is not playing too well. Dive. There you go. The enemy team can't do anything against it because it's dive comp. Or we'll just dive anyway. You dive with a Reiner. You can dive with literally everything, and you'll probably win 90% of the time because people don't really know how to react against a dive.
one trick rune in my game. Re. We cap this with Symmetra Toblerone. Re. This Reaper. Yeah, we're gonna kill the Bye! You know what's weird? My aim actually feels still like pretty bad. I need armor to go through aiming exercises with me. I can't tell if my aim is bad or not though. It's so hard to tell all the time. That's the bad part about playing a projectile character. A lot of stuff is spam too. Right there I probably should have got a headshot but meh. It's also hard to tell if I should ever hire my sensor lower it. I feel like I've been aiming, or at least I, I feel like I've gotten used to the sensitivity. I don't know how well I've been aiming with it though. My ultimate is ready. All right, core. Oh, I'll just core here. I'm gonna break that shield. I'm gonna break that shield down too. I'm actually kind of glad the uh, turret shoots the shield now. It makes the shield breaking strat on payload a lot better. I'm gonna save Clarissa again. Wait, did everybody just give up? Where is everybody on the payload? Did I break those two shields for nothing? That's 1600 damage done in like two seconds. That's insane. I'm out of scrap. Sorry, AFK McCree. I'll get you scrap one day. Hey, Taco, how you doing? Alright, not bad. Yo. That's the first Junkrat tire I've seen die all day. This good man. Alright, we got a TP. I thought we had a shield in before. I guess it must have died. Okay. That's got one shot by the piggy. I wasn't even looking at him. Like, how does that make sense? You can one shot me when I'm not looking at you, but when I'm staring at you, you can't one shot me. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me. I'm so confused. Wow. Why is everybody so toxic? Okay. Yes, the Myra Balls uh, damage turrets now. They can wipe an entire room of sim turrets if you throw them at a uh, sim turret section. So sim can't really lock down an area against Mario anymore. Because it'll just go through and wipe every single turret. Well, sim wood tricks must be banned. Wow. Those are bullies. Poor old Steve-o. That's what he has to deal with all day. Is this why Stevo isn't top 10 right now? Your playlist is looping. Huh? What do you mean? You know it's not a playlist, right? Well, I mean, it is a playlist, but it's only got a certain amount of songs gone. I'm surprised that this is the first time you've noticed it's looping since we've had it for- We've been going through this entire thing for a very long time. PMA. Yo. Oh, he has same place him and he's doing really good. Cough. Cough. That would be Steve-o. Alright, Steve-o would be over here. Technically, he jumped off the map. That was bannable. Pre-game jumping off the map, that's toxic. Man, can you even meme anymore? Like, 30 seconds before the game starts, everybody just jumps off the map as a joke. Still work. Move every character and require the element require real skills aiming. Yeah, just go play CSGO though. This is a class-based shooter for a reason. I still don't understand why people want that. It's like, if you make... The point of the game is to be diverse in characters and allow accessibility for literally every type of player in the world. Like, you want somebody who doesn't really have the best aim in the world? We got characters for that. We got Winston. We got Symmetra. 
You want a dude who wants to build turrets all day? You got Torbjorn. You want somebody who literally doesn't want to have to aim as a tank, just wants to shield all day? You got Reinhardt. If you want a broken piece of garbage that's literally entirety is based around garbage, you got Junkrat. You want a cute waifu girl that reses everybody and ruins everybody's lives? Yeah, you got Mercy. It's got everything, man. And we know how to get him on console. Practice. Practice and achieve your goals. Easy clap. Okay, they're running, man. This turret actually isn't too, too horrible. Oh my god. Oh god, junk, no. I don't want to go over there. They don't have EMP, so that is pretty good, but they do have Tracer. I just drop down. Here. I'll put this in the payload, because that's where our uh, Rissa is shielding. Let's move some extra shield ruins the game. I agree. 100%. Remove Sim, remove Torb, remove uh, every character that's not Soldier, so we can have Call of Duty. I kind of should get ever since I was a kid, though. Mm, I'm gonna put this right here. As long as I believe I can do anything, right? No. It's not possible. You're not gonna grow wings and fly. You're not gonna be able to bring the moon to you. You're not gonna be able to grow a gigantic sword out of a garden. That'll... I don't know. Summon puppies every time you swing it. None of that's possible. Sorry. You need real hopes and dreams that are achievable. Okay. But Overwatch aim, that is possible. So you can, you can believe in yourself and be good enough with that. Alright. Yo, we gotta kill this Rissa. Robo Cow is too strong. Oh my god. Got memed when we got our toy dead. Not good. That's bad. We gotta kill the uh, Sombra up top. Here, take the armor. Is everything anyone wants ever? I actually might put the uh, turret on high ground. I like this spot. This used to be the old spot until people started playing dive comp. I might actually bring this spot back. The only bad part is it's uh, bad against like Junkrat and stuff. Anybody who's going to be able to get close to you. Oh, hi. Or the uh, Sombra who wants to EMP. Mm, I'll drop down. I want the burst damage from my right clicks. Yo, how did they get Pharah? Shoot. Mm, we got TP. It's not bad. I think we can get back on. My problem is junk. Now would be an ideal time for me to go junk out if I didn't have ults. But I do. I'm gonna build this up just in case, because it looks like this is still contesting. And we have plenty of people that aren't me on there. Not bad. That was a pretty good first hold, actually. I hate res, by the way. I hate res, too. I would honestly rather them have a uh, an invuln or something like that. Something that's less annoying to play against.